A community shaken over the loss of a New Haven firefighter who died in the line of duty yesterday morning. The fire department saying Ricardo Torres Jr. was a young firefighter whose goal was to serve and protect the city as a first responder. Governor Lamont has now directed flags to fly at half staff in honor of firefighter Torres. The governor also sent his deepest condolences, saying that yesterday's tragedy is a heartbreaking reminder of the dangers that firefighters face each and every day. The governor also called Torres a hero. It was early Wednesday morning when officials responded to a two alarm fire at a home in New Haven. Torres was killed while saving two people who were inside that burning building. And another New Haven firefighter is still in the hospital this morning. He's fighting for his life after suffering serious injuries battling that fire. Lieutenant Samad Rankings was found unconscious in that burning home along with Taurus. And at last checked, Rankings is in critical condition. So we send him and his family our best wishes. Unfortunately, those two were not the only ones who were hurt as well. A lot to get up to speed on. So Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro joins us live at the scene there on Valley Street in New Haven with an update. Yeah, good morning, guys. So much pain across the state today, and that is especially true right here in the neighborhood where this happened early yesterday morning. And still a lot of unanswered questions about what exactly happened here, what caused this fire. Well, that investigation is underway as we speak. So I want to step out of the way. We've got a very active scene, as you can see for yourself, several agencies on scene. So we've got the New Haven Fire Department Fire Investigation Unit truck out here. We've also got the special operations truck on scene as well. We've got a fire truck right behind us. You can probably hear that, but we, you can see these crews. They have been taking wood to the house and they have some type of setup going on there. As this investigation continues, we also know because this is a line of duty death, the state police fire marshal and the state's attorney are helping with this investigation as well. And all this happening as neighbors around here continue to try to piece together this tragedy as well. Take a listen. Engine engine driver, we got one person trapped in the window on the Delta side. They started breaking the windows, spraying more water, and then we found out that there were like two uh, firefighters inside that got trapped. And uh, that's when we started seeing the fire coming out of the house. Just absolute tragedy unfolding here. It was just before one o'clock in the morning yesterday that those reports started coming in about a fire here on Valley Street. Two people living in the house were rescued when crews got on scene. They were treated for injuries. But soon after that, a mayday call was transmitted, which means a firefighter is in distress. And that mayday coming from Torres who had become disoriented and he was eventually found unconscious next to Lieutenant Rankins. The two then removed from the building and rushed to Bridgeport Hospital. And sadly, that is where Torres died. Now the fire department saying Torres was a young firefighter who was a son, a husband, and a father to a young child with another child on the way as well. And city leaders coming together yesterday to share their grief and really remember a fallen hero here. In, in the hospital, his mom was sharing stories about him and in particular how when he was a young boy, he always wanted to be a firefighter. Uh, firefighter Torres is, is a, a son, he's a brother, he's a husband, he's a father, and he's a hero. And he ran inside a building to save other people and lost his life. And his family lost him. And it's a reminder to us all about the sacrifice you, you and your families make and firefighter Torres's family has had to make to protect and support New Haven residents. We ask for the public support and prayers for his wife, his child, and his family. And once again, this is his family. We're all family and we're hurting. Our hearts are broken. Our spirits are hurting. Our faith is strong, but it's challenged today. And you can hear that emotion right there. The city also sending prayers to the other firefighter who was pulled from the building, Lieutenant Rankins. As of that last update, he is still in critical condition at the Bridgeport Hospital burn unit. Here's what Mayor Elliker had to say about him. A word about Lieutenant Rankins. Uh, he is a fighter. I think some of us know that firsthand. And... Uh, I, I, I'm optimistic uh, and hopeful uh, and here to support his family uh, in this difficult time. 
a lot of grief, a lot of emotion, and again, a lot of questions as we come back out live to the scene. They're trying to piece together what exactly happened here. You can see these crews working as we speak. That set up there by the house where this fire broke out. They have some type of wood structure going on. So again, of course, as we get any updates about what exactly happened here, what caused this fire, we'll pass those along to you at home. But for now, reporting in New Haven, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News.